It seems like a dull question at first, but how my videos are made is somewhat of an interesting and convoluted process. I thought it'd be interesting to show you how I do things behind the scenes. First is the script. I write all my scripts with pen and paper and I've amassed a rather amusing collection of books filled with ideas, completed things, uncompleted things, and scribbles. The vocal track is recorded first, where I often do multiple takes because I'll forget how to talk or read properly when I press record. At the beginning of every clip that I need to screen capture, I'll smack my lips four times, like this. This is for later when I sync my audio to my screen capture. After all of the paragraphs have been recorded, I start playing the library patches after every vocal cue to do so, until everything is done. Because my computer's old and Contact likes newer computers, sometimes I'll have problems with large libraries, so I'll have to split everything into separate projects in my door that I load and record separately like little pieces of a larger project. When the audio is all ready, I'll pull in the screen capture program, set the start of my project up and hit record, then hit record on my door. From here I'll watch everything play out in the door while I click on patches and instruments following the audio. If the recording starts to approach 20 minutes, I'll need a cut point where I can stop the screen capture and start recording a second video with another Lipsmank audio sync. The reason is because Studio One on my computer won't allow any screen capture program to share audio, so any video I record of my door is silent. Regardless, I don't like the audio quality of screen capture programs, so I prefer to use the raw WAV file from the door. After I've finished screen recording and I have my clips, I'll mix down the audio from my door as a 24-bit WAV file. Before I edit the video, I have to make my images I need for the video as well as the thumbnail for YouTube. I use Photoshop where I put stuff on a blank 1920x1080 canvas so it fits the video size, then I design the thumbnail on a 1280x720 canvas. I open up Movie Studio, chuck the screen recordings in, chuck the audio in and carefully line up the lip smack sync in the audio to the visual cue in the video, which can be a little fiddly because I only have an integrated graphics card. In other words, it's crap. If any of my screen recordings are longer than 20 minutes, the audio desyncs from the video because they were recorded from different sources, so I have to record my screen in 18 minute chunks. Cool, huh? Once all the clips are linked up seamlessly and synced, I throw in the images I need and then make the cut at the end where the screen goes to black. Fun fact, my little brother is the one who decided to cut to black when I say check you later because he thought I sounded creepy and he thought it'd be funny. That's the origin story of my calling card. When everything's finished, I render the video which takes three times longer than real time, Then I upload it with the thumbnail, copy the links to the description, add the tags, and set the video to private to watch the whole thing to make sure there weren't any big boo-boos and to make sure YouTube processes the video properly. If something does turn out to be wrong, I delete the video, go back to Movie Maker, fix the problem, then click render again, and upload it again with the links, tags, and the thumbnail again just like I had to with my Studio Strings Professional video recently. And that is that. If you liked learning about the simple and elegant process of my video creation and you want to support my videos, check out my Patreon where you can get access to more videos that were easier to make or buy an album at Bandcamp for dirt cheap. <sighs> check you later.